Hello and welcome to Photo Education Online. I'm Larry Lursey and today's lesson is on blending modes in Photoshop. When you're working in Photoshop and you've got multiple layers here in your layers palette, well, a lot of times you just have it here in normal mode, 100% opacity, and with that set up that way, all you see is this top layer. You've got no uh, view into the bottom one at all. And what blending modes does is changes the way these interact. So instead of it just covering it up, it will blend with it somehow and give you all kinds of different looks. For this example here, I've got this shot where if I turn off the top layer, here's the original image. And you can see it was in color. I went in, had to clean that up. I had to fix the door and uh, gave it more of a desaturated black and white type look to end up with this. And you can see when I've got it on normal 100%, you can't see any of that bottom. I can take down the opacity and start blending them that way. Or I can go into some of these different blending modes and get different looks. And that's what we're going to try and look at today is, is taking some textures and adding them to an image and then using the blending modes to change how it looks. So it's kind of one of those things you just have to play around with to understand. So let's just give one a try here. I've got this paper texture right here that's got some color. And I'm going to basically put it on top of this corrected layer that I've done here. Now let's drag it up here. Make sure it's covering it up. And of course now it's at normal 100%, which means all we are seeing is that texture. So this is exactly what I put on top. And so, you know, if you weren't using blending modes, the way you would let it show through is just to start lowering this opacity down. But um, as you start seeing the background, you just start losing so much of the texture that um, it still gives it a little bit of texture, but it kind of gives it a washed out look. So what we will do is take a look at some of these blending modes. And they're kind of categorized by the, uh, the darker section up here, which obviously everything in that section is going to make the image darker when you use that mode. The, these are all going to lighten the image. Most of what I use is in this section here, in the overlay, soft light, hard light, and uh, that's probably the most common one, so I'm going to start with overlay, and we'll take a look at it. And you can see it's still definitely showing through the back, but you can still see a good deal of the texture. Let's drop to soft light. And see, it's got a slightly different look there. Got a hard light totally different look. That's really putting a lot more emphasis on the, the texture than the background. So for this case, I kind of like the middle one, the soft light, like that. So that's kind of the, the, the feel I want. And then what I'll do is just go to the opacity and lower it down a little bit until it's just not so overwhelming. So there you go. There's the basic image and there's with, with some texture to it. And you can see by using the blending modes and bringing that opacity down, you create a look that at first when you look at this, you really don't see any texture at all. We'll even zoom in a tiny bit. You really don't see a whole lot of texture here. But when you click it off and on, before and after, you can really see how much color and um, kind of grit it's giving to the image. So it's kind of a subtle change but that way you've got control over it because you can control this the way you blend it and then the opacity and so it's just a matter of trying the different modes and you decide which kind you like and uh, you know maybe you're wanting a really severe type of uh, texture to it and you keep it on hard light and bring it way up like that it really just kinda comes down to your own preference at that point so let's take a look at another one got a cubist type self-portrait I did a while back and basically the shot's been put together here and, and chopped up and but what we're gonna try and do is make it look better and more cohesive by using um, some different uh, adding textures and that type thing and, and adjusting the blending modes First thing I did here, as you can see, is I've got a solid color. Well, let's go back here to normal so we can see what we have. I just added a layer and filled it with this brown color, which, of course, normal 100% is covering up the image below. But by going down here to color, 
then what it does is it's all it's passing through is that color value you're still seeing this image but all the color values are being replaced by that brown tone so it's a really good way to give something that brownish tone you can if you think that's too much you want a little of the other color to come through you can tone it down a little bit right there I've made it brown what I did on top let's turn this back to normal was I had just kind of this splotchy I think it's drying paint texture and I put that on top which covered everything up so then what we would do is I went this time into the multiply mode which is one of the darker ones wasn't happy with that at all obviously but when you start bringing down the opacity then suddenly you've got just a little of that texture in here but it isn't overwhelming the image you can see the before and after probably even take it down a little bit more and so there it's got some texture to it now but it blends in uh, when we go to the next stage here what I did is I copied the layer and made this one black and white so basically I've got a black and white sitting on top of a color like that so again here's this image copy it made the top one black and white and one of the other cool things you can do here is by switching it to soft light what it does is it blends them in together but it really gives it that really rich color and you may even need to dial it down a little bit but you can see between that and that that's got a lot more drama to it than that and you just kind of move it around decide how much you want how much is enough and there you go and again there's not really a right answer or a wrong answer you can go with the soft light you can go with overlay you just have to really experiment with them uh, what I want you just to try and be aware of is that all these options are over here and you know maybe you start out using overlay and soft light which like I said a lot of the time is what works best and then try the others go through and look at them and you may decide that you know you use one of these really crazy ones and go oh, I like the look of that and and there you go but give it a try try some different ones and I think you will see that it really gives you a little more impact to the images and allows you to bring in all these textures and things without them dominating the shot so give that a try I hope it helps if you have any questions send me an email and be sure to check back for more tutorials thanks a bunch bye bye